Hi, I'm Mark Hitchcock, and I recently got the GoPro Hero 10 and have done about 15 dives with it here in the Pacific Northwest, mostly using video lights in this setup here. Now I just got the Backscatter Flip 10 and Macromate Mini and took it for its first dive. I already posted a video of this Sunrock dive where I edited out pretty much all the parts where I was flipping between the shallow water red filter, the Macromate Mini, and no filter. If you just want to see Sunrock and all the wolf eels and octopus footage, check out that video linked in the description. This video shows a bunch of fumbling around with the flip tent, but I hope it gives a better demonstration of how it works and how to better work with it. I made a lot of mistakes in focal distance and I wanted to see how that might turn out. It comes with a focal distance gauge and for the GoPro Hero 10 it's about 3.5 inches, but in this video you can see I was trying to use it at a greater distance. My first impression when unboxing the Macromate Mini is that it is heavy. It flops around a little bit when it's open, but it does have a positive stop when pulled back at a 45 degree angle. It will be difficult to operate the power button with the Macromate Mini in the folded back position, and in heavy waves it can flop around a little bit, which you saw in the video. When using with the filter on top, it won't seal tight against the GoPro. GoPro housing if the top filter is folded down. So it has to remain at about a 45 degree angle also. I was a little disappointed that the Macromate Mini lens didn't come with the cleaning cloth and that it had a little smudges on it when I pulled it out of the packaging. I ordered the green water filter, but it was out of stock at this time, so Backscatter sent me an older version which doesn't have a tab at no charge and will send me one with the tab once they have it, but without the tab, it's really it really wouldn't be usable unless it was left on the entire time. Overall, it seems like it will be good for macro footage as long as you are really up close and keep the camera movement minimal. I think the filters will work really well once I figure out when to switch between it and lights and at what depth. Overall, I'm looking forward to diving more and improving my videos thanks to the Macromate Mini and the Flip 10 filter. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video and would like to see more dive videos, please like and subscribe.